Hello and welcome to the channel. I hope you're all well and enjoying your fishing if you are fishing. Today we're going to tie a caddis pupa. Now this is obviously for those rivers that have a good hatch of caddis and you would probably find them in the deeper areas at the early part of the season. So let's get on with the tying. I have uh, in the vise a size 12 uh, nymph hook and a 3.3 gold bead. Now it would be good to tie this in varying sizes. Uh, a 12 is a good size to start off with. Just get some bed down on the hook shank because I'm going to put on some lead. Just trim up the excess. Right now this is uh, 015 lead, which means that it's not, uh, not too thick. And with the shank, it allows me to put a, a decent bed on. So I just wind this on up to the bead. Just turn that bead round. There. And a few turns back down. And break that off. Right, I'm just going to Bind down to break off this lead. And also this piece. And bind down the lead. We don't want any lead showing on this fly. So we've got to give it a complete covering. The thread that I'm using is a 10 uh, light tan thread. So it's taking a little bit of time, but as we know, patience is a virtue. All right, now for the tail, I'm going to use some uh, some wild turkey, some white tip turkey tail. And the reason I'm using this is because it's just a little bit softer than uh, pheasant tail fibers, um, which uh, are an option if you wish to use those. I'll just tie these in. It's a little bit too long. I'm just going to pull that back. A little bit, there we go. And trim up the excess. And bind that down. Right now I'm also going to give it a copper rib. And in this instance it's 018 copper wire, taking the piece off already and I'm going to tie that in. Back down to the end of the shank. For the body I'm going to use some uh, cream dubbing. Uh, it doesn't matter what make you want to use, whatever cream dubbing you like. Um, whoops, spring has decided to have a life of its own. Right, and we'll dub this on with a fairly healthy noodle. I think it's more of a rope than a noodle. I 
think that will do for now. I'll probably have to put on some more. Keep it tight. Just give it a little touch more at the end there. And now I'm going to wind on the copper rib. Nice tight turns. And this obviously keeps the dubbing in place and gives it a bit of flash as well. And tie off the wire. and trim it up. Yeah. Right, now I'm going to uh, brush out the hair. Back in place, that's it and make it pretty scruffy. As a contrast, I'm going to use some uh, hair mix uh, right at the very beginning as a collar, and that will create just a separation of colour at the head. Just wind that on. And before I tie it off, I'm going to Put some glue onto the thread. And tie off the, uh, the fly. And trim up the thread. Right, now I'm going to uh, brush out the colour as well. As you can see, there are some longer guard hairs there. As I say, this is a size 12, um, that's a size 14 with a uh, gold bead also. And uh, it's worth tying them in different sizes. It's a great early season fly, looking for those deeper areas where you know that the caddis are, are likely to be at the bottom of the river. In Spain, that's normally in the northern rivers, uh, the southern rivers, probably not holding so many of the caddis. I hope you enjoyed the tying. Uh, thanks very much for viewing. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, please consider hitting the bell, pass a comment if you wish, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.